three, two, one. You ready? You're listening to the Real Pineapple Podcast Network. everybody thank you so much for listening we are the real pineapple this is hunter and i'm here with colin colin are you, are you sir <laughs> i'm good how you doing there hunter i was losing some breath there apparently yeah just <laughs> like, hang in there bud i know it's all right i'm good i'm good right. but we need you for so this podcast t- <laughs> i know i know i got it so we're talking about Liam neeson versus train <laughs> yes <laughs> we're talking about the comedian god damn so all right i <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm just going to be honest, Liam Neeson is one of my favorite actors. He, he really always has been one of my favorite actors. Um, um, a Monster Calls came out uh, last year, and I fucking love that movie. I, uh, I think that was on my best of, actually, or just missed it. Uh, I enjoyed the shit out of that. I love Silence. Um, his scene in Ted 2 was the funniest part of that fucking movie. Uh, I... <laughs> I, I just I think Liam Neeson just wonderful and in the yeah. gray when it came out was yeah. one of my favorite movies that year he he's but he's definitely been in this uh, this kind of this thing where it's like outside of you know Silence of the Monster Calls where it's like you know I can just be a chill action star and <laughs> and pretty much make the same movie over and over he's he's done what Denzel's been doing yeah. honestly ba- basically ever since Taken like once he did yeah. Taken and like that movie made tons of money. Like, everybody was just like, oh, we need Liam Neeson to be an action star. And he was just like, okay, I'll roll with this for, like, the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, and we never reviewed Run All Night, but I actually liked Run All Night, though. Uh, yeah, I think that's the same director as this one, right? Yeah, so so uh, Colin and me were talking about this off mic. Full disclosure, <laughs> we do not know how to say this guy's name. So, sir, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with Jamey Colette Sarah. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna roll with that. I yeah. think that's right. It's either like Hame or Jame or Jom, but I think Colette Sarah. I think we know it's Colette Sarah. Yeah, that's a, we're we're two out of we're yeah. two out of three. Two, two, yeah. But he did he did he did direct Run All Night. He did Unknown Run All Night nonstop, and now uh, Liam Neeson the on a train movie. versus yeah, a train. Exactly. <laughs> um, he did the shallows, which I actually really enjoyed. Uh, okay, with a yeah. like lively, yeah, uh, and and nonstop. I I really love. I no, I listen to me. I love nonstop. I'm gonna put that out there real quick. I love nonstop. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah, because I remember we reviewed that. We both went. Yeah, we we loved it. Yeah, so, fantastic movie. Uh, so full disclosure, I'm watching this movie, and for the first like. 35, 40 minutes, I just went, this is really stupid. Why is this happening? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just, Thank I'm, you so much. I'm just throwing much. that out there, because because the thing is, in full spoilers for this, by the way, so as soon as you see Patrick Wilson, because he's incapable of not playing a dick ever since, like, Hard Candy, I'm like, oh, I'm always that big asshole or a rapist. Uh, like, as soon as you see Patrick Wilson... Yeah. Or, a, or, a go- in, or a ghost hunter. Yeah, true. That yeah, oh god, the city is fucking scary. God damn, you got me to watch that. But so, oh, no, that was Covenant, right? Co- or, conjuring. Uh, he was in Conjuring. Con- he conjuring. was in Conjuring. Conjuring too. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, whenever you see him, it's like he's a dick. So as soon as I saw him, I went and he's all like, "Oh yeah, you know, let let uh, you know." Michael, you've always had my back. Let me have your back. I went, oh, so it's you. <laughs> like, yeah. It and there was scary. no point. There was no point in that scene existing unless, like, you know, it was foreshadowing for later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if I was next to you, I would whisper it foreshadowing. Cause it, yeah. It, it's, right. You know, it should have called the movie Western Union because it's so fucking telegraphed. The <laughs> whole movie. Just <laughs> everything that happens is very much, oh, yeah, that would happen. And there was a, yeah, there was a Sam Neill sighting too. There. Okay, yeah. Okay, D- did that shock the shit out of you? Like it did me. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, oh shit, Sam Neill. <laughs> like Doctor Grant's in this. I yeah, like, Doctor oh, Grant. I was like, dude, yeah. we're, we're, how's how's it been since Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah, not not, not not great, man. Yeah. He's been doing <laughs> I just wanted him to say at the bar, he's like, man, ever since I got off that island, life's yeah. life's been a lot different. <laughs> yeah. 
who would have thought my life, my career would have been on the shit after getting off time? Just... <laughs> yeah, now I'm just some police captain in New York. It, it was just really random that he was the the police captain. So as soon as they mention that he's like a Captain Hawthorne, as you know, when Patrick uh, Wilson's Alex goes, oh yeah, he's such a dick now, and da da da. I just went, okay, so he's probably like the chill older cop who's just like Mike, but they have a they had a misunderstanding in the past, which yeah. the movie basically <laughs> all do. And, Sc- and- Scooby Doo has been training you well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know what, dude? I think there are more twists of Scooby Doo <laughs> in this movie. Cause, yeah. Damn, man. I just. So so Vera. Uh, uh, gosh, I should know her name for her. Yeah. The, chick, the chick from Up in the Air. That's where I remember. Yeah, exactly. The chick from Up in the Air, the girl. She was in Source Code, too, and Departed. I, I liked her in Source Code, actually. Oh, yeah, I Departed, fucking, of course, yeah. I fucking love Source Code. Can I just talk about this how, real quick? How much I love Source Code. Remind me which one Source Code was? Uh, Jake uh, Joan Hall. Oh, yeah. Where they're like. Isn't he like. They're like looking in his brain or something? Yeah. He's like, is he dead? He's not dead, but he's like in a, he's not dead, like no. in a coma. Yeah, dude, like, motherfucking yeah, like source back code. In time, just if Mary served. dude, I gotta watch source code again. Yeah, I fucking love source code, but <laughs> she, she's but so when she pops up, I will say that the beginning part's kind of interesting, even though I was bored. You know, she's like, oh yeah, what if I told you you do one thing, you you know, and you can get all this money, and all I sat there thinking is. If you're Michael, wouldn't you think... And they, they mentioned he's a retired cop. So they, you know, they make it seem like he's almost like Sherlock Holmes. Like he can just put shit together. And I thought, there's no part of you that would think, oh, you just lost your job. It's really convenient that someone is offering this thing to you. Where you could get 25, like 75k. That doesn't just ring a, a red alarm <laughs> off your head a little bit. Yeah. But he's just like, he's like, oh, whatever. I just have to go in this bathroom and basically hunt someone down i get 75k nothing suspicious about that at all i'm totally down and so (laughs) and and so he just takes the money he doesn't even do what she says you have to do to get this money which in theory makes it which basically makes him a thief on top of that so it's like oh you didn't do what you're supposed to do to get the 75k well guess what now parents are getting fucked up and so it's the way I told, I pitched this because my friend asked me how this was. I was like, it's like Murder on the Orient Express if, like, the person who writes fill in the blank for dummies wrote it. Because it's just very, it, <laughs> it, like, that's really what it is. Yeah. It's like the most simplified version of Murder on the Orient Express right. and not as good. And it's like, it's so, the plot is so ridiculous. Like... <laughs> The nice thing I think about nonstop is that, like, when it came down to it, it was, like, pretty simple. Like, yeah. it's like, there's a terrorist on the plane, and he's, like, gonna start killing people every 20 minutes until he gets what he wants. Like, it's, like, is it like that's pretty simple. Like, this one, it's, like, there's a grand scheme to find a, uh, you know, a, a, a what, what am I trying to, a witness to a crime um and apparently this group of people has a lot of like really talented individuals that are already under the payroll but no let's get this random cop to uh <laughs> to, to figure it out <laughs> like like none of it made sense from the get-go so i was just like okay i guess this is what we're doing that's fine and yeah like you said it's like murder on the orange express except like let's make it into a dumb action movie with Liam Neeson, who's mostly just kind of getting beat up in the action Dude, he gets his ass, he gets his ass whipped yeah. by Kirk from the old Star Trek, <laughs> yeah. like the, the original Star Trek TV show. Right, which is fair, because, like, I, I feel like they had to go that route, because, like, he's getting older. Like, how old is Liam Neeson now? I think he says he's playing, like, a 60... He's a 60-year-old. Yeah, he said he's five years away from retirement. So he was, he's, he's 60 in the movie... But he's just getting his ass kicked. And, oh, man. <laughs> okay, what, what, did you think that it was, like, he was supposed to be, like, this brilliant detective type of person, right? And, like, he... I, yeah! Like, he would like he would have he been able to, like, figure it all out. And, he's 65, by the way. Yeah, so, but so he's 65 in real life. But I, I think that they have him playing 60 in the, in the... He's 60 in the in movie. In the movie, yeah. yeah. 
but they were like, oh man, like the only way we can figure out who this witness is is if we get the greatest ex cop who's now a life <laughs> insurance broker to come on the train. And he's the only one that can figure this out. And the way he ends up figuring it out, I'm like, any dumbass could have figured that out. He <laughs> yeah. he basically thought it was everyone else until he was like, oh, wait, I thought it was everyone else. It must be you. Like, anyone could do that. I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. But then again, you got Liam Neeson talking in a, in a soft Irish accent. And then he's just like, you know, he ends up fucking beating people up. And unlocking trains when they're about to go off the rails, <laughs> 70 miles per hour on a turn. And fucking hell, man. I don't know. I like, okay, so we, I, I, first of all, I love Taken. Taken is like yeah. one of the classic all time action movies. Again, simple plot. Dad, ex CIA agent, used to be able to kill anybody with his bare hands. He lo- his daughter gets taken, took the wrong dude's daughter. And then he's going out for revenge. He's going to kill, like, a million terrorists. Like, that's an awesome plot. Like, great plot. And then you have Nonstop, who, where he's, like, you know, he's the air marshal. He can kill anybody with his bare hands. <laughs> Just, and, uh, you know, terrorists pick the wrong plane to... <laughs> As they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this one, like, the plot is, like... I'm, like, just keep it simple, man. Like, this is so convoluted. And then you end up... Like, it all ends up working out in, the like, a way that where I'm like, you didn't need Liam Neeson in the first place. I, this is so, we- like, this is so dumb, man. Yeah, someone, like, like not me, not, not me high, because I would be useless, but me sober, like, could have figured this out. Because it really is more, like, he keeps fucking up so she'll kill someone, and then basically almost through, pro- like, basically through process of one nation, he goes, oh, it's you. And I just went... Derp. Basically, all the way I watch this con, and I saw this Friday night, like at seven, like seven thirty, and the theater I was in, I will say that the the audience enhanced the movie for me because the movie, the people were just laughing at this, like, what the fuck are we watching? And just and just having fun with it, you know? What I mean, right? I mean, uh, it's supposed to be a B movie, like it's made to kind of be yeah, like the, that. I. Colin, you were on it today. That's exactly what this is. This is a, this is a TNT movies for guys who like movies. Yeah. Now showing the commuter, like, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, dude, I miss I miss movies for guys who like movies. Dude, I do too, actually. But that's what this is. This would play perfect for for that. Like on Saturday night, you make yourself, you know, a whiskey and a steak with potatoes, and you're like, oh yeah, and I'm gonna watch the commuter. Fuck yeah. So that yeah. that's. That's what this is. I, but but see, I but really even see. even you saying that though, like my what what I'm trying to say is that like I love movies like that. I'm saying like this one's not it's not as good as movies that are like that. Like at, for like what it is as a B movie, I'm like give me nonstop, give me Taken, definitely give me John Wick over the Commuter. Sure. You know what I mean? Y- yeah. So the thing I will say about this movie is that. Like I said, the first half, like half hour, forty five minutes, it's basically all I was hearing calling was your voice, like Jiminy Cricket. Just like, what are we doing here? That's all. I <laughs> yeah. hear. Oh man, the like, first I, I was like so upset. I was just like, I was like, man, we're taking a long time to get to Liam Neeson kicking ass. Yeah, and 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 then when it does get to him kicking ass, it's mostly him getting his ass kicked until the very end. Right. But it has, so. I have to apologize to Justice League because I thought Stefan Wolf was gonna be the worst CG effect I would see. Like <laughs> But there's this point where Liam Neeson has to jump to this other train car. Yeah. And the CG <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking terrible. This is like I his laugh. face is like on on his on the body or something. Like, oh my god. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. Like, literally, like, the physics of it drove me crazy. Because, like, it, like, why would he go backwards if, like, the if the train hit something and the momentum was moving forward and it stopped, he would fly forward. There's no way he could jump backwards. Like, it didn't make, I was just like, oh my god. And then the CGI, like, the whole part, that whole part was just like, durr. <laughs> Colin. I was laughing so hard because I knew, because I was sitting there thinking the same thing, like, wait, the physics are just wrong on this, and I just, 
I know how scientific you are. I'm sure you're just like, oh, fuck you. Like, that was like, yeah. that's like a daddy's home moment with, with bringing Will Ferrell back to life. Like, I was, <laughs> I was dying because I knew you were yeah. freaking out on that. Yeah. But it was also it, like, it was funny too because so I live in the Seattle area and we, like, no, like, I'm sure it was national news. Like, we had the Amtrak. Like, literally, this just happened where a train was going, like, 80 miles per hour on a curve, and it derailed and all flew off the end. And they're like, they're like, oh, no, the train's going 70 miles per hour. Once we hit that curve, we're going to derail. And I was like, yeesh. <laughs> I, was like, I, hope, I hope no fa- I mean, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure no families of the victims would have come to see the commuter in the first place. But I was just like, I was like, oh, that's hitting a little close to home here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I, I, oh man, I was, I was laughing so hard because I went, there's no God, okay, that's how we're, that's how we're doing this. And so, what I, so I will say the movie, again, for, for 45 minutes, it doesn't know what it's doing. It's almost like jogging in place. And it's like the screenwriter woke up and went, oh, wow, I have to I have to write something, don't I shit? And then he just kind of starts throwing whatever at the wall will stick. But I will say, starting to kind of get the pieces put together, I mean, you know where it's going, but as the movie does ramp up, I went, okay, I'm not being... It, and this movie might be, being, be getting a bit of a buffer just because we've been I've been watching, you know, snowman and smurfs and <laughs> bullshit like that but i i was sitting there i'm like okay at least i'm not angry like i was at first because i was bored dude the first half hour 45 i just went man can something happen yeah for sure like, like can this pick up like can the girl like show bush or something <laughs> like, like, like give me a reason to care and yeah. i love liam neeson and i just <laughs> You know, I you know I will give the movie this one scene, like at least in the early part when he does get fired. Liam Neeson kind of ramps it up a little bit there, like with him being like, "I'm 60 years old, I can't start." Like I went, you know what? Okay, like that. That's, I'm like that. That's one thing I can give the movie. But outside of that, it's just. Uh, by the way, the way it starts too is really confusing. <laughs> like how it shows his day to day, but then it like jumps through multiple days and i don't know if that was just done to show that he has a routine yeah because he's a kid because he commutes like every day i think but it was just very scatterbrained yeah. the way they ended I, that. I, 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 I think you, it's like this the director dude was just like i have this cool idea we'll all blend together like all of the different you know all the different ways he ends up going to the train in the morning and yeah it was it was probably like a, a hit or miss type of situation. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was fu- I thought it was fucking stupid. To me, <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Like it was it was a miss. <laughs> I mean, for me, it was a myth. I just went because yeah. it's like, the, like one one day he's happy at the at the at the wife. One day it's raining. Right. Yeah, that was another thing that just pissed me off. I'm like, can you be subtle? It's like they have to be arguing. Oh, and it's raining too. But when they're getting along, it's all sunny and bright. I'm like, oh my god, like movie, like slowly roll. Like you're not a fucking art film. It just kind of like, yeah. That was what I was thinking. I was like. I was like, yeah, we're, we're you're not an art film. I was like, we're, we're not trying to win any Oscars here. You probably could leave that out. And no one would care. Like, just show him going to the commuter one time and then make some hint at how he does this every day. Like, okay, done. Move the move, let's move along here. <laughs> yeah, like like they could have cut five minutes easy. Just yeah, by, just by doing let's get that. this thing going. Get on, um, get on the damn train. <laughs> start it, it, start fighting people. So, so basically, you find out who um uh oh God, uh, uh starts with a P Prime, I think it's what yeah it's or Priya before. or something Priya some something like that like nine eleven yeah like he he's looking for nine eleven <laughs> what he's he, he's he's looking for someone on the train uh yeah. and basically it's like you need to find this person and put like right. uh, like a tracker on him right and. And then he finds out who it is, and they basically sit her down, and he she goes, you know, my boyfriend got killed because of, you know, this information he has, and, you know, I, uh, someone killed him. I don't know who it was, but one of them was a cop. And as soon as you hear that, it's like, oh, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh wow, what a shocker! It must be, it must be Patrick Wilson. And so, just to drive the point home, because this movie can't be subtle, she remembers specifically, he says something like, there's no such thing as nobility or something the fuck. And he happens when he gets on the train. 
<laughs> they confront Liam Neeson. He says the exact same phrase that that cop said <laughs> at the scene. And I just went, dude, I didn't yell, but in my head I'm thinking, Durr. Yeah. <laughs> That was so dumb, and I was like, "Okay, that's the realization." It's like that. How much? How often does that dude say that? <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't know if he's black. I wish I would have known. If it was a white guy, it's even better. Because when that happened, this guy in the back of the theater, who was clearly just on just the biggest twirl to world, because it was just twists and turns for this guy. I hear him go, "Oh shit, it was him!" <laughs> <laughs> I just looked. I just looked back. I was like, "Seriously." Dude? I love people that like are fully invested in dumb movies. Dude, he he. I wish I could have talked to this guy because that guy must have had. He probably would have given us a fan fucking pass. Dude, I would have loved to hear his review. Like I, because I know people probably love this. People were like, oh yeah, because it is okay. So what this movie is, it's like turn your like. I mean, really, you, you can turn your brain off and you'll you know you can follow this plot. It's it's like. It, it could have been dumbed down more because it's a dumb action movie and just like my point is like keep it more simple um but uh yeah the <laughs> i'm sure people will probably probably were like oh man that, the twist and turns in that that thing was fucking that was incredible writing <laughs> Dude, like what i was dying and i just thought you know what this guy is so happy i'm like good for you at least you enjoyed it but yeah i mean hey i i love when people have a good time with the movies that's what they're there for but I pre- you know I appreciate that and honestly I mean this isn't something like you know Norman North where someone was enjoying yeah. it. it's like, like fuck you, you yeah you know or or, I mean? or Boo too where it just makes me angry <laughs> oh god or or, fi- or Fifty Shades like it will make us upset in about a month I mean the the thing is man this this is harmless that's all I kept thinking I'm like yeah. this is harmless I'm like it's stupid as fuck mm-hmm. but it's stu- <laughs> it's still Liam Neeson like the, the, there's nothing wrong with Liam Neeson in this movie he's still awesome. Yeah, and and there is that, oh my god, there's that moment, that like Spartacus moment at the end where it's like, no, I'm this person, no, I'm this person, no, I, and yeah. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, yeah, I was, I, was like, I was like, wow, good cliche. Yeah, I was like, man, you could not be more ham. <laughs> I was like, what? no, no one's ever done that before. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, <laughs> I just, just, I, I was just laughing. I just looked at the screen. I'm like, give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, like, you couldn't help yourselves, really. There was one more cliche. Yeah. You know? You couldn't you couldn't fit in. Uh-huh. And and so, honestly, man, as soon as they did that, I went, I know that I was going to end. Because it's, it's so cliche. It, ha- it There's no other way. So, I'm like, he's going to get his job back. And he has to confront that girl one more time. I'm just sitting there as the movie is ending. And I'm just laughing so hard. I'm like, I don't fucking care how loud I'm being. Because <laughs> the movie just looks at you. It might as well say that's all, folks, at the end. <laughs> like, it just, it's so <laughs> cliche. And yet, so I'm. Before I throw it back to you, I'm just gonna get my final thoughts here. I mean, is this movie stupid? My God in heaven, it's so <laughs> fucking dumb. Like it's dumb to a point where it almost comes back around to being like the smartest movie to start this new year because it's just that fucking stupid. Um, I was never like upset, but I was just sitting there like it, Collins, it, Collins mantra. What are we doing here? Yeah. Like it rings, 100%. it rings true for the whole movie. The one thing I will say is it's under two hours. Because if this was under two hours, I probably would have gotten upset. So I will Mercifully, get... under two hours. Yeah, it's under five minutes. So I'll, I'll give it that much. That it's at least short. But, yeah, it's it's dumb. So I'm gonna... I, I, you know, this is usually a test that I give a movie. I think if I was high or hungover, <laughs> and I'm flipping through the channels, and I landed on this movie, would I freak out and go oh god i need to change it if i even if i can't find the remote or what i just be like oh something's on for background noise or whatever this is background noise i mean if you're if you're trying to hook up with someone you know put on a little <laughs> <laughs> i don't know like i mean like i like if, your game <laughs> i mean honestly like if, if if i was making out with my girl and this was on i wouldn't be annoyed enough to go oh, i need to change it i think i'm right <laughs> like whatever like but um yeah it's a, oh, oh it's a c minus that that's where I land. I mean, it's like it's it's a TV movie that got <laughs> a wide release before some of the Oscar movies we liked because it's Liam Neeson. So 
yeah, C minus for me. Uh, call and wrap it up in your final grade. Thoughts, sir? Yeah. Um, I was going to give it a C minus too, so I'm just going to stick with the C minus. But I still want to say that I I disagree. If I saw it on TV, I would I would see it and I'd be like, oh, The Commuter. And I'd be like, oh, you know what's a better movie? Nonstop. I should watch that. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just dumb. The nice thing, the <laughs> nice thing about this movie is that it's kind of like a break from uh, all the like really intense Oscar movies I've been seeing lately. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just dumb, like action. Like there's a part where you know, <laughs> like a ridiculous setup. Where the guy's like, how'd you know I was an assassin? And he's like, you shook my hand with your right hand. You have a left-handed, yeah, you have a left, you have a left, yeah, you have a left-handed guitar. And he's like, oh shit, Liam Neeson, you are fucking good. I have to fight you now. And he's like, all right, let's do this. I was like, I mean, that was the, the moments like that. I'm just like, all right, I can watch this at least a little bit. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> even though it's dumb as hell. I'm just like, that's just funny. And then, and then of course he gets, he goes back into the the car and he's like, oh, what happened to the uh, the dude with the guitar? And he's like, he had to get off. <laughs> like, I, dude, I I just I clapped. I went, fuck it, why not? <laughs> you know that, that that's those are the type of moments like Liam Neeson and like those moments and those stupid one liners and like the dumb Sherlock Holmes moments that they throw in there like those are when I'm just like okay this isn't a D I'll, it'll, it can stay in the C range it's a C minus that's fine <laughs> dude this is like honestly there are Encyclopedia Brown books that are written better than this movie was <laughs> if you don't know what Encyclopedia Brown is google that shit but I just you know it's funny too because I, I saw an, a short interview with the director because I was trying to try and figure out how to say his name but but <laughs> yeah. but nobody on youtube would ever say his name it would just start with the first question <laughs> damn it <laughs> um but one of them was just like what was your inspiration to make the commuter and the director was literally like well everybody really liked non-stop so i kind of just wanted to remake that <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. He's like, I figured it would make a lot of money. <laughs> Essentially, he didn't say that part, but I was like, that's what he was thinking. He's just like, I just want to make as much money as nonstop did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? K- kudos for being honest. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, good on you. You pretty much accomplished that goal a little bit, but non non nonstop's just better. God, I just I I can't believe this movie exists but uh, but guys have you seen the commuter let us know what you thought i would love to get people's thoughts on the commuter because i talked to one of my friends who saw it and they were like oh man I had a blast i went really you had a blast with this but okay whatever you're right non-stop's better but uh you, let us know what you thought in the comments below you can follow yours truly on the twitter at j hunter real pineapple you can follow us on facebook at the real pineapple Follow us here on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean at The Real Pineapple. You can follow our bud Scott, we miss you bud, at Nearman the First. You can follow Colin on Twitter at The Real O'Neill. Guys, thank you so much for listening. It is a slow movie week coming up this weekend, so we're going to have a review up for Detroit, a we'll review up for Bright, and uh, we will talk about the last Fifty Shades trailer celebrating the last movie. One more! <laughs> And this shit can go away. Uh, Guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon.